Okay, so I've got one that should be a pretty quick one today. This is actually a uh, video response to a YouTube commenter on a, another channel's comments, because, you know, I don't have enough subscribers to get comments, really. Uh, thank you to those uh, that do. I really appreciate it. It's a lot of fun. But anyway, uh, there was a gentleman that said he used brake fluid to strip uh, bed lining out of the pickup, uh, out of the bed of his truck, uh, spray on bed liner. <clears throat> and uh, didn't understand why everybody was worried about uh, brake fluid being corrosive to paint. And I responded to that gentleman that, uh, hey, I've had two cars in the past where the paint is all eaten off the brake booster from previous owners overfilling them. Um, actually, just sippy cup is that way. Uh, previous vehicle that did that to me is because the master, uh, master cylinder actually failed and was dumping fluid out of the back. But regardless, it ate the paint off the master cylinder all the same <clears throat> and turned it into a big uh, rust storm. And I said to the gentleman, uh, be happy to make a quick video of that for you if you'd like. And he took me up on it. So here we are. <laughs> so uh, in just a minute, I'll go out there and I'll show you uh, as well as I can. It's kind of hidden behind the battery and stuff where the paint was eaten off. But one thing I wanted to kind of point out before we even get started is right on this stuff, it says, uh, where is it go? Uh, do not refill container. Uh, avoid spilling fluid. Yeah, avoid spilling fluid on car, on car finish or brake lining. Let's see if it'll focus that. Anyway, take my word for it, it says it. Now, if it didn't damage the finish, why would they put the warning on there? <laughs> you know, if I were marketing a product uh, that uh, did not do bad things, I probably wouldn't say that it did just to start a controversy somewhere. But anyway, I'll go out and I'll show you uh, the booster on sippy cup so you guys can see that brake fluid does eat paint off and there you go see all the rust all over the booster i'll try and get behind those lines but it goes all the way down and uh, on this car that uh, actually just would drip onto the ground so it didn't affect anything else but yeah that's just because the uh, clutch uh, master cylinder was leaking when i bought the car and the guy was just presumably habitually overfilling the reservoir being a moron and spilling it all over the place. You can see the top of the booster. There's like a couple little things in it there that probably got scratched over the last 25 years, but the top of the booster, no problem at all. But it's completely eaten off all the way down. So there you go. Be careful with your brake fluid, guys. I'm not just inventing stuff to have conversation. Previously neglected to mention that the gentleman uh, said that after he got the bed liner off, it did not uh, actually damage his paint, that his factory paint was fine under the bed liner. I have a few theories for why that might have worked out okay. Mostly that uh, modern base coat clear coat paint is very resilient, but uh, yeah, who knows? And uh, finally, you know, in, in addition to thanking you for watching, if you should happen to have a comment for me and would like a personalized video response that uh, is a question I could answer in let's say three or four minutes, you know, about my shop or my cars or what I think about something. If you're willing to take the advice of someone who puts uh, idiot as a tag in all of their videos, uh, let me know. I'll be happy to do that for you. Uh, it probably won't be instant, but you know, maybe within a week or two, we'll get back to you. Uh, since I'm very, very small channel right now, I can do kind of fun stuff like that. So if you got something, let me know. Thanks guys. See ya.